So this is the last drawing that I've been working on for the last couple of months since late February after I signed with Fiora Castell and I think it's been going extremely slowly for a couple of reasons. Um, I've never worked on a piece this large before and I've been getting very overwhelmed with a bunch of things in my life such as my work, my drawing, the content creation side of things. Um, the planning and administration side as well. I think before I started all these um, YouTube, social media, Instagram, TikTok, it seemed really easy, you know, just take a camera, just record it. But there was there's actually a lot of things that go on behind the scenes. Like you gotta plan all the shots, all the angles, what you're gonna say, write like entire scripts for YouTube videos and I'm definitely finding that out the hard way and it's been a really really slow process and I'm hoping that I can find some sort of balance soon within this and just keep the work moving. Um, after this I think I'm gonna start working on a lot of smaller pieces as well as start painting so really excited to look for that but also really excited to finish this piece as well um, especially when I get to the face part that's what most people are interested in and that's like the most interesting part so there's gonna be a lot of content around that as well. So this is my new studio buddy, the head of David, and I've been very obsessed with these sculpture plaster busts since my life drawing days back in China, so like when I was five years old or something, when I first started drawing, and my teacher brought out all these sculpture busts of Greek and Roman figures, and I've been obsessed with them ever since. I think in the future, I'm definitely starting to get a collection of these either with marble or plaster so this is the first of the collection I actually looked through all United States through different websites Amazon and other sources but I never found anything similar to what I wanted which is something like this because all the ones that I found are either tiny and they cost about like 20 for something like this big or they're gigantic and marble and antiques so there was nothing really in between I guess it existed but I just never could find it so I ended up buying it through China and I went through about five or six shipping companies before I found one that's semi-reliable because this is a very fragile thing So I've been thinking about live streams recently. Um, for my last work, I did an Instagram live about once a month, and it was just a good vibe, you know, putting on some music while I draw and seeing people's questions and answering them and just hanging out in general. I've been thinking about trying it on TikTok recently as well because I've seen a couple of my friends doing that, and I want to see how that works and if there's any difference, but. I guess my community is mostly on Instagram and all my friends are on there, so it will definitely be a little more foreign to me. And you know, there's also stuff like YouTube, which sets a requirement and that I have to reach, but I'm definitely interested in that as well. And I've been a big video gamer all my life, so also Twitch is a platform that I can look towards as well. So I guess I'm going to be putting out semi-weekly videos like this, sort of almost like a casual vlog type of content to keep people um, updated on my newest work. So this is going to take maybe until late July or August to finish. So there's a lot of things that are coming. Um, there's a lot of content that are being planned right now and a lot of exciting stuff coming. So also I'm starting a new series on my 
art college stories. So if you're, I know a lot of people out there that are listening are self-taught artists, especially if you're a realism artist. So just bring the stories from there and some experiences that you might be interested in. So you're welcome to check that out as well. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Thank you.